hi everyone okay. i think hope you are doing well so in my previous session like i have uh, explained you how to create a queue how to send a message to queue from dotnet core application right just to quick recap so i'll show you uh, the dotnet core application that i use this is a simple web api uh, with one action method which will send a message to the service bus queue this is a queue queue name service bus connection string this is a connection string so with this simple dotnet web application so we are trying to send a message to the service bus queue right okay fine now i will explain you how to consume it using azure functions okay for that i just quickly created a simple azure function a simple azure function okay this is the same uh, application that i used to explain you uh, the service bus topics with multiple subscribers right so currently i want to use the same uh, same uh, same application i mean same uh, solution to explain you how to create uh, how to consume the messages from the service bus queue so let me explain you so here the function it can be random anything so it can be a three queue or whatever it may be that's fine so here in the service bus trigger just give a queue name so this is a queue name service bus queue name and this is a connection string we need to give the connection string as well so earlier i have uh, the connection string in handy so just copy it go back to the service bus service bus function azure function service bus con consuming azure function fine now just come in the other uh, azure function that we used for the topic okay update and this is the one so these are explained for the azure function you can uh, azure function service bus topics okay you can watch my previous videos for that so this is the function just now we created so we'll we'll ensure first that there are no messages in the queue just go to the service bus portal and see the active messages you can see there is one active message okay just refresh the code so okay there is one active message let's check whether this is uh, this whether we can consume it from the azure function or not i have kept a debugger for it just try to just run the azure function function app so immediately when the azure function starts my azure function should get triggered based on the service bus queue okay just click on see it got triggered if you remember if you see my earlier uh, video uh, the the one which i post in the last week you can see this is the payload that i sent from the from the uh, .NET core application the same it was receiving just try to continue it so it was successfully read so go back to azure service bus queue in the portal refresh the session you can see that the active messages are zero now so let's try to send the message from dotnet core application okay i'll try i'll run the dotnet core application so this i the entire thing i explained you in the previous videos you can watch that so yeah the swagger was loaded just try to send some meaningful data so this is shrikan hyderabad okay just try to execute so immediately when you try to send it once this uh, the uh, this this get succeeded the message should go and stored in the azure service bus queue and then immediately my azure function should get triggered <coughs> okay if you see this is my azure function so you see this immediately it got triggered you can see the message payload i got i, I just sent srikanth in the hyderabad right just continue it test let's test this one test this once again go back give some random data sorry try to execute now immediately in the same way my azure function should get triggered you see this my azure function got triggered you can see the service bus uh, i mean you can see the payload that was received by this uh, function 111222 okay okay let's stop this azure function uh, sorry web application dotnet web application let's close this we'll try to send continue the azure function okay we'll try to send messages from the service bus explorer itself instead of dotnet core web application 
so send a message click on send a message it can be either a text it can be either a json or whatever it may be click on send once you click on send it will our azure function will try to consume it see it got triggered azure function got triggered so if you see the message payload this is one just try to continue and refresh see that it is showing zero of zero messages okay i'll stop the azure function now so azure function should not consume the messages i'll again send the message just to explain and send it it sends successfully if you refresh it it, it is showing that showing zero of one messages it means that there is a message in the service bus queue just to ensure just to make sure that go to overview and see the active messages so this message will retain here until until the azure function or the consumer consumes it so let's try to start the azure function again so it should trigger immediately because there is a message in the service bus queue am i correct yeah see service bus trigger it got started so it immediately hit and if you see the payload this is what we have given so it's a simple this is a simple application you can see this is a simple uh, azure function you can do whatever logic you want here it's up to you i'm just explaining you the overview like how it works so this is the azure function we'll close it and you can see that uh, once you refresh it there should be zero active message should be zero because we just consumed it from the azure function i'm trying to refresh the portal so oh looks like the message is still active because we stop if you uh, uh, i got the point because i stopped the azure function before uh, you know uh, it successfully completed you understood my point right let me open the azure function again for you yeah so now uh, did you understood like why our message was not delivered successfully because it was consumed by the azure function but at azure function end it was not completely successful now i am starting the azure function again the the function should get triggered immediately once it starts it should trigger immediately okay see it was triggered immediately and if you see the last message that it was hhh now before before completing itself earlier we tried to stop the azure function so that is the reason why the message got retained in the azure service bus queue okay that is what we explain uh, we was learning what are the features right at least one time delivery right and also uh, dead letter in queue if the messages are not uh, successfully delivered uh, it will move to dead letter queue okay there will be a count like if the successful if it was not successfully delivered for 10 times it will move to dead letter queue but currently it was not successful only single time so it didn't move to dead letter queue so just continue it now go to azure portal and refresh fine you can see that the active messages are zero fine even you see that the dead letter messages are zero if if the message was failed for 10 times currently it was failed for one time so that was in the active messages but it was failed if it was failed for the n number of times so it will come into the dead letter queue it's fine hope you have understood so in the coming series i will explain you uh, how to publish uh, our web applications or azure functions to the app services what are app services and what are everything so if you want to uh, if you want any of the videos related to azure services so just keep a message post a message in the comments i'll try to explain you i'll i'll try to uh, you know make a videos in the upcoming sessions thank you thanks all